Hi guys, welcome back to Jundis Lagadagria. For this video reaction guys, let's go to our favorite country once again. And of course, that would be Russia. Pasiba to our Russian friends. Also, and the title of this video that we need to do some reaction for today is Russia and interesting facts about Russia. Of course, this is, we will not pass on this one. We did a lot of Russian uh, videos, the weaponry, the weaponry, the military capability, and then the artillery and everything about Russia. And now let's get to know what is Russia can offer with us. What is Russia? Who is Russia is? And this is, I really want to know also, and this is the first time that I will want to know about Russia because I know there are a lot of uh, like beautiful places, the cultural heritage, and then the political, uh, the political story, the history itself of Russia that we really want to know. Credit to the owner also with the video. To call this one, I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. Call this one, and this is like, let's take a virtual trip to the coldest and largest country in the world that is Russia. So welcome to Russia and Pasiba to our Russian friends. I hope you'll be having fun and enjoy watching with this one to uh to non-Russian friends of our, our supporter. I hope you enjoy this guys and let's get to know with Russia. Yes and what we can offer with us if we will planning to go to Russia in the future. And if you're new to my channel just click on subscribe button. Click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads and if you have some comments suggestion related to Russia guys or any Russian video or any video that you can suggest, drop it in the comment section. I'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request. Also, enjoy, guys. My God, I'm so excited to know Russia. Russia, the largest country in the world located in the north of Eurasia, covering 11 time zones. Mm. Once Churchill said, wow. Russia is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. So let's try That's to figure it. it out. Let's start. Russia <gasps> is a cold country. It's true. In some northern cities of Russia, like Yakutsk, those who own cars have to park their vehicles in heated garages with a blanket wrapped around the battery. Seriously? And when they drive, they keep the engine running all day. What? It is the largest country in the world, with an area of 17 million square kilometers. That is twice more than the United States. But actually, only 35% of that territory is suitable for living. For, yeah. The remaining 65 is occupied by permafrost. The agricultural season in most parts of the country is just two to four months. For comparison, in Europe and the US, it is eight to nine months. The landscape varies from tundra, steppes, wow. forests, to mountains and subtropical beaches. Wow! Russia has really several major beautiful. parts. The European part, the wow. south, the right. Urals, Siberia, and the Far East. 77% of the population lives in the European part of the country, and here it's mostly uninhabited. The most typical landscape of Russia will be something like this. Mm. It's like a, here For 2016, according to the International Monetary Fund, Russia ranks 12th in terms of nominal GDP. The wow, economy is predominantly based on raw materials, which comes as no surprise knowing the enormous natural reserves of Russia. First place in the world in natural gas and forest reserves. Wow. Sixth place in oil reserves. Second place in coal reserves and so much more. The World Bank estimates the value of all Bravo. Russia's natural resources at $75 trillion. Impressive, right? Since Russia Indeed. was so lucky with natural Wait, resources, goodness. it would seem logical that the average salary in the country should be no less than it is in Europe. But that's not the case. In 2016, it was only 28,000 rubles or $450 a month. So while the country is rich, the population is poor. As in many developing countries mm. around the world, there is a huge income gap. Minimum salary is just $120, while the salary of a member of the Russian parliament is around $7,000 a month. Even professions that are considered to be well paid in the West get paid little in Russia. The average salary of a doctor is just $700 Why? a month and $450 for a nurse. The state controls 70% of the economy. Therefore, the largest companies in Russia are state-owned raw materials companies like Gazprom and Rosneft, or monopolies like Russian Railroad and the Russian Post. Mm -hmm. As the case in the rest of the world, state-owned companies are not exactly examples of innovations in modern technologies. But what about private business? In Russia, there are some successful private companies such as Magnet, Supermarket Chain, Yandex, Internet Company, Tinkoff, Online Bank, 
Kaspersky Lab, this, VK Social oh God, Network, were like and others. Huge but companies. even they seem to be very much under the government control in terms of what they can and cannot do. And it's sad because at one point Russia was one of the few countries where Google and Facebook actually faced local competition. But things turned dismal right. in the end. On the bright side, many services in Russia cost less than they do in the West. Taxi prices, the internet, electricity and cell communications well below their Western counterparts. Mm -hmm. What then prevents Russia from taking a leading role in the world? There are a lot of reasons, but it's enough to mention corruption and endless bureaucracy and you get the picture. A hundred years ago, 85% of Russia's world. population was rural. Today, three quarters live in the cities. Let's take a look at the biggest. Moscow. Moscow is the dream city for the majority of Russians. Salaries here are three to five times higher than in the rest of the country. The Moscow subway serves nine million passengers a day. This wow. is more than the subways of New York and London combined. Everybody's running and no one speaks English. That's how foreigners describe the city. In 2016, <laughs> Moscow was the third city in the world with the largest number of billionaires. 60 people to be exact, just right after New York and Hong Kong. St. Petersburg, one of the most beautiful cities in Russia. North Venice, famous for its drawbridges and white knights. Yeah. Foreigners adore St. Pete and say yeah. it reminds them Saint of Peter Paris Bird. and Rome. On Nevsky Prospect, there I is a I higher can, chance of peering foreign speech than Russia. Maybe somebody can bring me there. Oh my God. The third largest city. To go to it's Saint a city Peter in Bird. Siberia and the scientific capital of Russia. It's famous for its academic Gorodok, which accommodates several research institutions. One wow. of the greenest cities in Russia. Yekaterinburg is a phenomenal place with a deep history and a rich culture. The gateway between Europe and Asia, the hometown of Russia's first president, the world leader in consumption of mayonnaise, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. But seriously, Yekaterinburg is one of the most developed post-industrial areas in the country, which has its valuable natural and intellectual resources. Kazan, wow. the capital of Tatarstan, the largest port on the bank of the Volga. It has two cultures, Tatar, and Russian, peacefully mm -hmm. coexistent. The main attraction is, of course, the Kazan Kremlin. And the fastest growing city in Russia, Krasnodar. Krasnodar. Many residents of the northern regions move here for a warmer climate. It's near the mountains and only two hour drive from the Black Sea coast. Villages in Russia are in a deplorable state. The rural population is shrinking everywhere. People are living for larger cities. Many villages yeah, have been abandoned altogether. Sadly, there is no place for them in modern Russia reality. In most villages today, the hope for a future is slowly disappearing, and with that disappears a very important part of the they Russian culture. To the urban area. Secondary education is very fundamental and is in no way inferior to the Western, and in many ways it surpasses it. Russia has been suffering from brain drain ever since the collapse of the USSR. Many people are overqualified for their positions, and in small towns there are simply no opportunities for them to build a career, which forces young professionals to move to Moscow or abroad. In 2013, Seen Russia was visited by 28 people. million tourists. The most popular destinations are Moscow and St. Pete, of course, resorts of Krasnodar region, ski resorts, the Golden Ring of Russia, and cruises along the Volga. Foreigners love long trips along the Trans-Siberian Railroad, visiting Altai Mountains and Lake Baikal, traveling wow. to Kamchatka Volcanoes and cruises on an icebreaker That's to the Russian Arctic National Lake Park. Baikal. By the way, Lake Baikal is the deepest lake in the world Correct. and the largest source of fresh water on the planet. The Siberian taiga is the largest forest in the world, the lungs of the planet. I love the scenery, the greenery. Oh Most Russians goodness. live in modest apartments, surprisingly, possessing enormous territories. Russians continue to build high-rise apartment buildings, 20 or more floors. Wow. Many Russians have summer houses, country cottages, where they can have picnics and grow vegetables and flowers all summer. That's nice. Russia takes the third place in the world after the US and China in the length of railroads. The longest route is the Trans-Siberian Railroad from Moscow to Vladivostok, crosses seven time zones and almost takes a week. Public transport in large cities is well developed. You have trams, buses, trolleybuses, 
fixed route taxi buses, seven cities have an underground subway. Subway stations in Russia are generally works of art. Roads construction has always been a controversial so issue. Most federal roads do not meet modern standards of quality and safety. Oh. Extremely small number of freeways. The construction of new roads is slow. Russia has its own car manufacturer, Avtovaz, whose share in the Russian car market is 19% for 2016. The best-selling cars that same year were Hyundai Solaris, Lada Granta and Kia Rio. Many foreigners come into Russia and expect to see lots of street crime and the Russian mob, and are very surprised that in fact everything is civilized and peaceful. Nevertheless, the statistics don't lie. The murder rate for 100,000 people is 9.5. Compare that to the US where it's 3.8, Belgium where it's 1.8 and Canada where it's 1.5. At the same time, if you compare the statistics on rape for 2010, in Russia this figure was 3.4, in the US 27.3, which is almost 10 times higher, in Belgium 27.9, and in Sweden 63.5, so 20 times higher. So where are you going to feel safer traveling with your wife and daughter? Despite the fact that there is free medicine in Russia, the quality of services is very low. Life expectancy is just 65 years for men and 76 for women. At the same time, the birth rate in Russia is higher than it is in Europe. 13.3 per 1,000 people versus the European Union 10.1. Oh. Dealing with government agencies, whether obtaining any kind of certificate, going to the police, etc. is associated with a huge loss of time and stress. According to Corruption Perception Index from Transparency International, Russia is among the 50 most corrupt countries in the world. Customer service in Russia has traditionally been at a low level. Often you can meet the lack of smiles and indifference of employees. <laughs> Vladimir Putin has been in power since 1999 and is probably going to stay that way. Truth is, most Russians simply vote for the person they show on TV the most. Freedom of speech has been compromised and many journalists... Oh shit, is the KGB knocking on my door? Russian cuisine is very tasty, but it almost never falls into the top world ratings. Perhaps because it doesn't have an abundance of fresh fruit and vegetables, as well as a large number of fatty and flour dishes, mayonnaise and pickles. Today, pizza, burgers and sushi can be found everywhere. In 2001, less than 13% of Russians preferred grain coffee, and in 2015 it was 41%. Foreigners love to visit fast food places in Russia. First, they can offer you beer. And secondly, they're much cleaner and nicer than in the US. No homeless people here. The food scene has improved dramatically. You now have burger places, no craft beer bars, Asian restaurants, no and so on. People. Oh my it's no secret that Russian women are beautiful. Even the slightest excuse to go out will make them want to apply makeup and put on high heels. Russians are very different from Europeans and Americans. A smile without a reason does not always find understanding. Try to smile at someone on the subway. Most likely, you will simply be ignored, or they will regard it as flirting. In Russia, it is yeah. considered weird to smile at people that you don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> Most Russians are very patriotic. They like to have tea and vodka parties in the kitchen and argue about politics and life in general. Foreigners get surprised it's, to I learn that stuff. cold Russians can become very hospitable people. Russian is the second most popular language on the internet after English and one of the six official languages of the United Nations. But do Russians speak English? Actually, let's find out. Yeah, they speak too. Excuse me, do you guys speak English? No, okay. Hey, excuse me guys, I think do you speak English? No, okay. Hey, oh, excuse wait, me, do you speak difficult. English? No, okay. Well, apparently not so many. In Russia, sports are very popular. Football indisputably holds a leading position, 
Also popular are hockey, basketball, volleyball, and boxing. Russia is known throughout the world for its achievements in gymnastics and figure skating. Yes. In recent years, the popularity of a healthy lifestyle is becoming noticeable. In large cities, many fitness centers have opened up. Also, lots of ski resorts. In winter, such unusual sports are popular, like rally on ice, wow. winter kiting, and even winter cycling. Russian is the second most popular language、yes. on the internet after English, and、mm. one of the six official languages of the United Nations. Russians oh, have many unique traditions, such as visiting bathhouses or banyas, swimming in the ice hole in a 20 degree below temperature, winter fishing, hunting, lawn celebrations, and saying lawn toasts. Oh my God! What's up? Russia is a wonderful country. Indeed. Beautiful nature, wonderful people, and a harsh climate with endless territory. Wow. I think Russia has great potential and many opportunities.、Indeed. And what do you、I、think、want. about Russia? What I think? It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's incredible, and it's so wonderful. Also, Woo, love it. Oh my God! I, was, I love it. I, I'm so full of the information about that. This is like a majestic and greatest video that you can show, and this is the most accurate video for me by far. That like explaining what is Russia and then the、uh, facts about Russia. My God, knowing those like information, then the places like what they can offer to Moscow, to Saint Petersburg, that you really wanted to go there and like see for yourself,、uh, be there in like in flesh and know. The real, the hospitable people also, and imagine Russian people do not smile because it's like if you smile with them, you are seducing with them, or and we have to respect because that's their culture and that's that's their way in like not smiling. That you can feel that it's not hospitable for us because in our in our place or like to other country, you really have to smile. But for them, a smile is not necessary because it's it create something like unusual to them. And that's and that's it. Oh my God! This is like a very great information. I was so amazed and I was so fascinated that I really want to go to Russia. And I hope one day I can visit, can visit in Russia also. And I hope like one Russian also can offer with me like to go there and like tour me around. I really want to go and explore Russia. This is such a beautiful country, respectable one. And imagine they are rich in culture and history. Ooh, I so enjoy watching with this one. And if you enjoy, guys, and if you want to see the full video, it's in the description box below. And if you like this video, guys, same as I did, just give a massive thumbs. Like and share, subscribe also with my channel. And this is Junis Blagadag React saying, stay humble, stay positive, guys. Passive but all Russian friends. And if you have some comments, suggestion related to this video, guys, or any Russian videos that you can suggest, drop it on the comment section. I'd love to read and respond to all of your video requests. And if you want to check my second channel, it's in the description box. Thank you so much, and see you in my next video reaction. Bye, bye, guys. Have a good day, everyone. Oh, oh, oh.